Okay, today I'm gonna to be talking about taking an HTMA, a hair tissue mineral analysis sample. Some things to note before you take your sample is that your sample needs to be free of dye, bleach, hair products, that sort of thing. So if you've recently had your hair treated with any of those things, you want to wait a minimum of four weeks before taking the hair sample. Your hair sample will just be the hair closest to your scalp, so you just wanna see some grow out before you're taking it. You also wanna make sure that you've been using a shower filter at least two weeks before taking the sample, or if you don't have a shower filter, you can wash your hair with distilled water for two weeks leading up to the hair sample, but I find that a shower filter is way easier and honestly worth it in the long run for a lot of reasons. You also wanna avoid swimming in pools with chlorine at least a week prior to the sample. And if you use any anti-dandruff shampoo, stop using that at least two weeks prior to taking the sample. The day of collection, you are going to shampoo and condition your hair like normal. I do recommend using a clarifying shampoo, but it's not necessary. It just helps ensure that we're getting the cleanest sample of hair possible. But however you wash your hair, let it air dry. Do not use any products like hairspray or leave-in conditioner or anything like that after you wash your hair and make sure not to sweat after you shower and before you take the sample. You wanna wait until your hair fully dries before taking the sample, which is usually about four to six hours after showering. You don't wanna wait much longer than that because oil and sweat will build up regardless if you wait too much longer after that. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to take the sample using my friend to demonstrate, and I'll be back. Okay, so start by folding your paper scale so that when you set it up, it will naturally tilt to one side. And then go ahead and clip your hair up so that about the middle of your head is showing. And then you can start taking your samples. You are going to cut as close to the scalp as possible. For each sample, you will only include the inch that was closest to your scalp. So you just cut it off, put it on the scale, and then once it tilts, I usually do one extra sample for good measure just to make sure it's enough. And then go ahead and put it in the envelope and seal it up. Once your hair sample is in the envelope, make sure to fill it out with your name and shampoo type. Fill out the paperwork that your practitioner sent you. Seal it up in the envelope addressed to the lab. Make sure there's a stamp on it, put your return address on it, mail it out, and then your practitioner will reach out to you when they receive your results. 